This week in West Virginia, leaders with the Division of Highways held a press conference to discuss a major project that will begin on the Danner Road overpass bridge this weekend along I-64 and how it will impact traffic in the Charleston area. It's one of the heaviest traveled places in the entire state. Uh, very, very difficult to do a project like this in this type of condition. Due to a prolonged shortage of rainfall resulting in widespread drought conditions, the governor declared a state of emergency for all 55 West Virginia counties. Meanwhile, the West Virginia Division of Forestry continues to enforce a statewide ban on outdoor burning. This ban is being put in just because it is so extremely dry and the conditions are forecast for the next two to three weeks to continue to be this way. Uh, it's really to protect the property, uh, of our state residents uh, and, and structures and things of that nature. Also this week, Governor Jim Justice addressed leaders from across the state at a meeting of the West Virginia Municipal League Board of Directors at Chief Logan State Park. First Lady Kathy Justice hosted the Communities and Schools Advisory Council meeting at the Governor's Mansion, and the West Virginia National Guard hosted the annual Gold Star Families Retreat at Camp Dawson in Kingwood for families who've lost a loved one in military service. You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.